What's up you guys? Okay, today is the day, we are doing it. We popped on the Ninja Creamy game. So everybody is talking about the Ninja Creamy, which is essentially the ice cream maker. It makes ice cream, it can make gelato, light ice cream, sorbet, smoothie bowls, I'm looking at it, milkshakes, all of these different things. Um, and people are going crazy about it. So I actually got one last month for my birthday. Um, so we're gonna go through some of my favorite recipes today. Of course, as a nutrition coach and a CrossFit coach, I'm all about the lower calorie, higher protein recipes, um, but we're gonna do another one that's not so low cal if you really, really have a sweet tooth. That's probably still better than actually going to the grocery store and getting a pint of ice cream or even a gallon of ice cream that is filled with things you don't know of. Um, I think the really great thing about the Ninja Creamy is you can obviously add all of the ingredients that you want and I'm always a huge fan of knowing what's in your food so that's something I really love about it and I've mastered some of the recipes to where the consistency is the way I want it, the taste, so we're going to get into it today. So the Ninja Creamy itself actually just comes with, you've got the bowl or the processing tray bowl that your pint will actually go into. So it comes with one of these little pints, but you can go on Amazon and I'm sure Creamy also sells it from their website, but we just went on Amazon and we got a whole pack of these. So we have like six extra ones. That way you can make extras, store it in your fridge and they can be ready for you whenever you're ready to have one. Okay, so before we actually start making them in our little pint and in our, in our container, um, I'm gonna go over just why we use some of the things we use. So we've noticed that Fairlife, obviously the fat-free is gonna be the zero grams of fat um, version of milk. This one has a really good consistency when you start to churn your light ice cream. Um, same thing for the Fairlife chocolate, it's reduced fat. So for reduced fat, oat milk, almond milk, um, as your base, you're gonna always wanna use the light ice cream feature because of the way it churns. Um, if you do, were to use whole milk or a heavy cream, then you would use the regular ice cream feature on the actual creamy machine. Just the way it churns, it'll do it differently and you will get different textures. So we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna use this one because, hello, favorite color, duh. Um, and I'm gonna do my favorite recipe in this one. So to start off, let me change my view here. We are gonna do the fat-free Fairlife milk. So I'm gonna do, it'll say max fill on your pint. I'm gonna go until about halfway of that. And then I like to do the chocolate brownie or just a chocolate whey protein. I don't even do a whole scoop. I do like half a scoop. So I'm gonna do half a scoop in there. And then I love peanut butter and chocolate. So I'm gonna do just a little bit, probably a spoonful if I were to use a spoon, but I'm not, cause hello, who wants to do dishes? Or more of them. Uh, probably one to two spoonfuls of the PB2. Then I'm gonna grab my handy dandy frother. You could also use a blender bottle and put it in the blender bottle and then shake it up and then pour it in here. But again, like I already said, you know, dishes. <laughs> the less, the better. So my frother works just fine. You'll see that it starts to all mix in. And once it's pretty much all mixed, I then add, today I'm gonna use chocolate and we use the sugar-free Jell-O, um, or the zero sugar, yeah, Jell-O packets. These just add a little bit more sweetness to it. And literally, I'm just gonna pour a teeny tiny little bit. My husband says that he doesn't really notice a difference with or without the Jell-O. I kinda do, I love sweets, I'm telling y'all. I, my weakness is sweet. So I think it does make it a little bit sweeter. But again, just frothing it in till it's all mixed. And that's gonna be our first base. All right, next up, we're gonna do one for Tristan, my husband, so he gets the other blue. We're gonna do for him the chocolate Fairlife milk, so that's gonna be his base. 
And again, we'll just go about halfway, maybe a little more than halfway. He really likes his Oreo protein, so he wants to do that in here. We're gonna do a little more than half scoop. Close to full, close to a full scoop in this one. And just like last time, I'm gonna froth it and mix it up. Okay, so I was gonna use our Ascent Protein, um, the Mocha Cold Brew in the last coffee, but I think I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna do um, a Fruity Pebbles Protein. Yes, we have a lot of different protein, but hey, gotta have some options, right? So I'm gonna do a different one this time. I'm gonna do, and I've never tried it, so I will report back in the comments how this one is. It might not eat it tonight, um, but I will report back. We're gonna do the fat-free Fairlife milk. A little bit over halfway. Then I'm gonna do a little bit of the Jell-O sugar-free cheesecake in there. I'm making this up, guys, but I think it sounds good. We'll see. A little bit of that. Oops, that's a mess. Then we're gonna do, I never do a full scoop just because I feel like the consistency might be a little too thick. I always go about half scoop to three quarters full. Um, I have heard people say that they do full scoops and it's fine, but I feel like the taste is good with just like half or three, three quarters. So I'm gonna froth this in. And this is actually all I'm gonna put in this one for my base, my mix-ins this one. I'm gonna do the Kodiak Honey Graham like Fair Bites. Um, once it's done, that'll be my mix-in feature. So we'll see, we'll report back. So for Tristan's that just had the Oreo protein and the chocolate milk, I'm not sure, can't speak for him, but I believe he's been putting the Lily's white chocolate chips and then maybe some Hershey's chocolate chips in there um, as his mix-in, So, or if it's a good consistency, he'll probably just stir it in, but a lot of times he does do the chocolate chips. For the peanut butter and chocolate ice cream, I just put in here. Um, I'll show you guys later when I actually make it, but for that one, I'm gonna do like one to two, maybe three. I'll check my macros at the end of the day and see what we're working with. But I would put these Justin's peanut butter dark chocolate cups in the middle and then do the mix-in feature. So this is what I would finish this one with. Okay, so we just got them out of the freezer. They look a little bit icy like that. You can run them under some hot water, um, just around the outside for a little bit, which will make it a little bit less icy, we think, on the outside. And then once you do your first cycle on light ice cream, we put a little bit, like a teeny tiny, like a tablespoon or two of the same milk that we used the first time on top, and that makes it a little bit more creamy. So if it comes out a little bit clumpy like that, you can add a teeny tiny little bit of milk. Maybe that much. And then what we're gonna do is the respin button this time. And this is after the respin cycle. Good consistency. Now we're gonna add the mix-ins. Okay, so this is what mine looks like after one spin, so pretty good. I'm gonna add my Justin's peanut butter cups just right in the middle. I'm gonna do the mix-in feature, and then we'll be done. Okay, finished product with all my mix-ins. I am happy with the consistency, and hopefully it's gonna be really good. 
Um, I want to take a bite now. Yep. It's good. So that's pretty much some of my favorite recipes or our favorite recipes with the creamy so far. I'll probably add soon or more soon once we get, you know, used to it and find more things that we like. Hopefully this was helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this or you have suggestions on other things you would like to see. Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys on the next video.